what is up guys right now I'm going to the gym I'm about to stop at a local gas station just because I need some uh, trolley eggs it's a candy like trolley worms um, just so I can get some quick carbs in because I have plenty of calories to spend throughout the day and right now it's around 8 o'clock p.m. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and go pick up a little pouch of those trolley eggs. And then from there, I will head to the gym. Today I have Push version 2 on my own personal program that I'm on. So I think today I'm going to start off with OHPs. I'm going to go a little lighter, not so heavy. The reason being is because of my elbow. I have uh, some tendonitis slight issues on my left elbow. And it's been tweaking with me a little bit. It's bothering me and I do not want to proceed in injuring it or trying to injure it. So in other words, I'm just trying to prevent injury. And like I've said before, I hope everyone listens to their body no matter if it's it has to do with training or just in general like I mean you know when you're sick so when you're sick you take medicine right okay so in other words whenever you're training and something's wrong with you you're gonna find out what the issue is what the problem is and then you're going go, you're going sorry can't freaking speak today you're going to go and try to fix the problem so yeah guys that is that and um Let's get this push workout in. Let's go and grind it out. Let's get it, guys. Alrighty, guys. Made it to the gym. I'm starting off with overhead press, OHPs, to warm up them shoulders, get blood flow in them. Started off with the 90s just because, like I said, my elbows kind of been tweaking with me a little bit. I felt good, honestly. It only messes with me, like, towards the end of the set. I don't know why, I guess because the weight is somewhat a moderate type of weight, but I can still work with it. And normally I do use a 45 pound bar, like I'm literally in the squat rack doing OHPs, but I came to the gym around 6 o'clock and it was really packed and I didn't want to wait on a squat rack to open up, so I just went ahead and just grabbed a straight bar curl. And I just busted out the 90s and just really felt those delts get worked, squeeze at the top. And guys, if you ever performed OHPs before, I know y'all can agree that it's also a good workout for your shoulders. And if you guys never tried it, I recommend it. Give it a try out. And uh, from OHPs, I came to flat bench barbell press and as you can see here I didn't go as heavy as I wanted like I said because of my elbow so I just threw on a plate and I believe it's a 10 and a 5 and uh, I believe I stuck with this weight I didn't go up I know I went down towards the end of my sets I think I went down to just a plate by itself because my elbow was kind of tweaking with me again and I try to capture a different angle for you guys just to give it a little different type of feel. But even going light during my reps and my sets, I wasn't really expecting to get a pump out of it. But I got a decent pump. It wasn't all that, but I got one and I was pretty satisfied with it. And what I'm also doing with barbell on flat bench I'm trying to uh, arch my back, but not as dramatic, just because I feel it in my lower back, a little pain. So that's the reason why I don't arch it so much now. But from barbell, I went to shoulder lateral raises with 25s. Targets the heck out of the delts, really get that squeeze. And just really control the weight, guys. Make sure whenever you perform anything with shoulders, lateral raises or side lateral raises, you uh, drive up with the elbow. Make sure the elbow goes up before your hands do or the weights do. Because anything you do, your hands are pretty much hooks. And make sure that 
you grasp onto the weight and drive with whatever muscle you are targeting for that certain exercise. Like for chest press, here, you just want to squeeze with the chest, drive with the chest. Like I said, your hands are pretty much just hooks. And I really love this chest machine. I really feel the inner chest targeted and it gets a stupid pump for me. It's fired. And here I go from there to cable flies. And how I like to perform this exercise is I imagine a big round oak tree in front of me and I'm giving it a huge hug and I make sure I squeeze every rep. And I apologize for the faces I make, it's just the intensity goes pretty goes pretty up and the intensity levels are just crazy and I feel all these muscle fibers just burning, burning, burning. And then from there I went to side cable lateral raises. Same thing as if it was a dumbbell in your hand. Just drive with the elbow and make sure you squeeze at the top with the delt of every rep. I feel it fire. I feel it target awesome. It's real smooth. And make sure you get a good pattern going, guys. You don't want to swing into the motion or put a lot of momentum just because you want to let the muscle do all the work for you. So just make sure you drive with the elbows. Make sure the elbow goes up before your hand does. Every rep, every set, keep it the same. Keep it moderate. Just set up a good pattern for yourself. And then towards the end of the workout, I did a little posing. Just because I like to, just to see what my weak points are to make them my strong point. Strong points. And I believe that was it for my workout. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And I'm going to cut the voice over. But thank you guys. Well guys, made it back home from the gym. Push day for me was pretty good. My tendonitis in my elbow wasn't that bad. I started feeling it towards push on bench. But other than that, everything else went smooth. Um, didn't go as heavy as I wanted on OHPs, just because, like I said before, the tendonitis in my elbow. And it just tweaks with me a little bit, so I might do some occlusion training depending on how I feel, if it gets worse or if it gets better. But yeah, guys, I'm going to upload this video for y'all. Stay tuned. Subscribe. Share. And stay tuned for the next video. Thank you. Fuck a cap and gown, we gon' make it out. That's the truth. Fuck it in the works. I'd rather hit the bull with it.